Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are around the world. My name is Anthony Holland, for those of you who may not know me um, yet. Um, for those of you who do know me, as you know, I've been doing some hikes recently to try and raise some money and awareness um, to get some help out there for those who are struggling with their mental health issues right now. It's something close to my heart, I've been going through my own issues um, in the past, um, which were many at the time. If you want to find out a little bit more about uh, my story, please go to my Facebook page and um, you can see what I'm all about and my story there, okay? Um, yeah, so recently I've been doing some hikes, raising some money with your kind help, which is going to help go towards getting help out there to those who need the help right now, who are suffering from their mental health issues. Um, we're going through a really difficult time right now. Um, as I said, I've been down that road myself. I know exactly what it's like to feel isolated, feel alone, feel like nobody to turn to at that time, um, which is a dark place. And um, thank God I was able to come through my issues with the help of others. So now I'm here today to try and help guide you um, one um, step at a time um, hopefully through some of your issues so today I thought I would make a video and teach you the basics of EFT emotional freedom techniques which um, as I said um, I learned back in 2012 um, I was looking for some help to be honest, um, I didn't know where to turn to, who to ask, or basically I couldn't find any help with my problems, and I I didn't want to go and really go and speak to some doctor or um, who was just gonna probably end up giving me some pills um, to dampen my problems down. Um, so I found this technique called EFT, emotional freedom techniques. Um, it was, um, how can I put it, a coach who I was following uh, recommended a technique called EFT to help change with limiting beliefs, um, which I found curious and fascinating. Um, and this coach was teaching me all about the conscious mind, subconscious mind, uh, Bob Proctor, and um, he recommended this technique to help change beliefs. Um, at this time, I was going through a really difficult time in my own life, splitting up with my with my partner, the mother of my children, who was pregnant at the time with my youngest daughter, um, having to leave my family was heartbreaking, um, lo losing my home. Um, losing my business was very overwhelming for myself and you know even at that time I even contemplated taking my own life which wasn't the first time um, thank God I didn't and I'm here to tell this story today to hopefully help you guys um, out there who may be struggling right now um, I'm, 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 you know, I'm sad to keep hearing um, friends and family who've lost um, their loved ones to to suicide. Um, as I said, I've been in that place. I really know what it's like to feel alone, um, nobody to turn to, and thank God I was guided to this technique called EFT. Um, emotional freedom techniques um, which is a little bit like acupuncture without the needles which you can learn all about uh, what EFT actually is and where it was derived from um, on my Facebook page okay but today I want to just try and actually explain a little bit about the technique the basics of the technique how you can 
learn the technique and apply it on some small issues that's going on or some stress that's going on in your life yeah. right now at the moment okay um yes yeah, so as i said i've been doing some hikes to try and raise a pot of money to give to the organization efti to either fund further practitioners which is what i would like to see in um in each of our communities to be honest <coughs> excuse me to be honest um or have a, a pot of money available to pay for sessions to those who can't afford to pay for sessions at some point um, we can see this technique being available in the nhs and um, i believe it is available in some areas of the nhs but for now um, like most people you would have to pay privately for sessions and um, these can mount up okay i first learned eft on um, through gary craig's website uh, i learned uh, it's remarkable um, at this time when i was feeling overwhelmed um, with some of the issues that i had going on in my life i started to learn this technique just by watching a few videos and going to Gary Craig's site I, I, I tapped on these points while focusing on one of my problems and if it, afterwards it felt like in fact my life was never the same ever again after that moment um, something suddenly changed in my life which um, I could not put my finger on but I, I wanted to find out more and, um, and subsequently over the years I found out a little bit more about what EFT is. Um, as I said it's a little bit like acupuncture without the needles. It's very fascinating to learn all about um, the energy systems that the body are comprised of um, which are many believe it or not but I'm just going to focus on the meridian meridians which is what EFT is based upon okay and teach you the basic points where they are how to tap how to formulate a set of statement and reminder phrases um, how to tune in specifically um, to where you feel in these feelings or stress in your body and um, basically hopefully try and get some reduction in, in how you're feeling right now. So, yeah, so I thought I would make this video to explain a little bit about what EFT is and how it can help you, okay? So, first of all, um, I'm going to show you the points. This is what we call the karate chop point, okay? It's on either hands, and this is fleshy part of the skin here. It's what a karate chop expert would use to chop through wood or concrete blocks. Okay, you can you can tap on either hand, okay? Just like this. Either side. You can either tap together. So that's the actual first point we would actually tap on. The karate chop point. While focusing on, on our issue or crafting our setup statement, talking about our issue, talking about our most pressing issue that's going on in our lives right now, which is what I'm going to focus on on this tapping round today. Just going to focus on this stress or overwhelm that we may be feeling right now, okay? So that's the cry chart point. The next point, after repeating our reminder phrase, uh, I beg your pardon, our setup statement three times on here. Then we would move to the eyebrow point, which is here. Okay, not there, not there. Follow the eyebrow over there on the points here and tap with two fingers here. Not too soft, not too hard. 
just like the Goldilocks effect, just right. Okay. Then we go from the eyebrow point to the side of the eye, here, on the bone, the eyes. I don't know if you can see there. So you just tap gently there, okay. Then underneath the eyes, on the bone there, or over there. Follow that bone around and just tap gently on underneath the eye there. The next point we would go to is underneath the nose, which is there. That groove there. Tap with your two fingers, either hand, okay, whatever suits you. Nice and gently there. Next point would be the chin point. It's not actually on the chin, it's in the groove here, okay, underneath the lip. Just tap in there. Just tap long enough whilst repeating the words or the sentence or how you feel back back to yourself during the reminder phrases which I will go through in one moment. Okay. Next point would be the collarbone points. Find your collarbones. Come to the end of your collarbone points there. Drop down about an inch. And you may feel a groove there. This is called K27, and it's the 27th point on kidney meridian. This is a great point to tap if, you, if you're ever feeling tired. Okay, give this a good, um, good tap. So that's the collarbone point. Okay, you can tap like that, tap like this, tap like that. Your next point would be underarm point, which is about four inches down, okay, probably the end of this finger, right in the side there, probably in line with the lady's bra strap there. If you tap in there, you may even find this quite sore. Mine's okay at the moment, but on many times I find this spleen point really so it's a good sign that the spleen meridian is actually blocked okay so just tap in there and the next point would be top of the head just like this you probably can see where i'm tapping okay as i don't have much hair left there and then Take a nice deep breath and let it all out. That would equate to one round of tapping, okay? As I said, it's, it's a fairly easy technique to, to learn the basics on, um, but um, it takes a little bit more time to master all the techniques that EFT is all about. But for now, I'm sure you guys can learn these basics and where these points are and then be able to apply it on yourself to help reduce some stress that's going on in your lives right now so um the best thing to do is let's tap along eh um so i'm just going to tap on um a round of all this stress that's been going on in my life um right now okay i have no idea what's going on specifically in your life um so i'm just going to use some general words okay so excuse me please feel free to um choose um your own words in fact the more specific you are with using your own words and your own feelings and where you feel this issue in your body, the better chance you have of actually getting to the root cause um, of your issues and getting some some change on these issues. 
one issue at a time, one aspect at a time, one event at a time, okay? So um, the first thing we would do would be to find a target. As I said, we want to focus on um, this stress um, that's happening in our lives right now. Focus on something that's um, taking up your mental space or your thought process right now. Um, so find an issue, give it a number. For this round, for this demonstration, hopefully you can find something that's um, above a five, okay? So when I say pick a number, this helps us to gauge or to let us know whether we're on track with our issue. Um, especially as a practitioner, um, by the way, it's called the SED scale, subjective units of distress. And this allows us to find whether we're on target or whether we're on track or whether we need to find um, other avenues to question to help get to the root cause of our issues, our traumas, our limiting beliefs, etc. Okay, so um, pick an issue that's bothering you right now. Okay, maybe it's something that something somebody said to you that upset you. Okay. So pick an issue, uh, give it a, a number on a scale of 0 to 10, uh, where 10 would be, when you think about it, you, you're at boiling point, um, or where a 5 would be, you are um, simmering when you think about this issue. Or when you think about this issue or event, a 0 would represent... Um, it doesn't pro, um, bother you anymore. You're done with it. You're cool with it. You moved on with it, okay? So give your issue a number. Give this stress that you're feeling right now a number. Um, as I said, EFT works better when you're specific. And find out where you feel this stress in your body. Um, how does this stress make you feel? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel frustrated? So give it a number. Where do you feel it in the body? And, um, and be as specific as you possibly can. So I'm just gonna use some general words, some tapping phrases, okay? So you can just follow along with me and hopefully we'll all get some benefits from doing this tapping round. But more importantly, you will be able to see how you learn EFT on yourself and tap through the points yourself. And hopefully you may get some reduction just by listening to this video uh, and learning these points. And, um, and then we'll... Um, see what happens from there so let's get tapping so tapping on the crotch short point like this and repeat after me even though I'm feeling all this stress in my body I deeply and completely accept myself anyway even though I'm feeling all this stress and overwhelm in my body. I choose to relax and let it go. Even though I'm feeling all this stress and worry in my body, I deeply and completely accept myself anyway. Eyebrow points. All this stress I feel in my body. Side of the eye. I feel all this stress in my body. Underneath the eye. I feel all this stress. Underneath the nose. I am stressed right out. 
chin point all this over well collarbone point I can't think clearly underneath the arm I got too much going on top of the head with all this stress that's going on eyebrow points all this stress side of eye I choose to be open to the possibility underneath the eye of letting go of some of the stress all the stress in my body I'm open to the possibility collarbone point of letting some of this go this stress in my body choose to let it go eyebrow point letting go of this stress side of eye releasing all this stress underneath the eye letting all this stress go underneath the nose releasing this stress now chin releasing all this stress now collarbone point it's time to let some of this go underarm releasing some of this stress now top of the head letting this stress go now letting it all go we take a deep breath now the first thing we would do is try and tune back into that issue that you were just thinking about or that stressful event that you were just thinking about or you may have been thinking about or you will even think about when you repeat this um, video again and um, see um, when, what number it is now on that scale hopefully it's come down and um, if that's the case um, whatever number that has come down to you can just repeat that round and, and just change um, the wording of how you're feeling and where you're feeling in your body okay and um, see if that helps you get to a zero where you feel cool where you feel like you moved on from that one event or that issue okay that's bothering you right now um as i mentioned the more specific you are with your own words and how you feel the better chance you have of getting to the root cause and moving on um to the next problem um that you could use eft on for anybody out there who we're suffering really um, bad right now um, and would like to speak to a skilled and qualified practitioner other than myself um, please get hold of me I'll be more than happy to guide you to um, somebody who may be able to help you or even if there is somebody out there suffering alone right now please get hold of me and I'll be more than happy just to have a chat with you and be able to guide you to some resources 
as I said, I know what it's like to feel isolated on your own, okay, and feel helpless. And um, but I'm here to say that you know I'm here to 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 help you guys in any way I possibly can, to be honest. So please reach out to me, and um, I will be more than happy to help. Okay, bye for now.